Hello and welcome back. We are now going to see how maintenance specific user parameters are set. These parameters are called within the notification and within the work order. We are able to define default values for notification type, the work order type, planner group, planning plant, and work center among others. So let us go ahead and see how this is done by going to transaction code IW21. And again, if maintenance specific parameters are used, then the general user parameters that we looked at earlier will be overwritten. So this is a screen for creating PM notification. And again, this is IW21. So we go to extras, then to settings, then to control default values, and here is where we set our maintenance specific user parameters. In my case, I have the order type as PM01. I have set my notification type to be M2. And again, you can change any of this depending on what values you have here. So we can set our business area. We can set our profit center. My planning plant is not going to change. Again, that is 3000 and my planner group is not going to change, which is UT7. You can check these boxes here. They help in your text editing uh, field. So once you do that, you also need to select your screen scenario here. That is a screen that we had defined earlier. So it's going to be functional location, equipment, and assembly. So once that is done, you are ready to go ahead and save. So we can create a new notification and see how those values will be applied. So we go to IW21. So our, our first default value, which is notification type M2, is populated here and then we have other values like planner group this is our was our selection for default value and we had our plant as 3000 so that is how you set maintenance specific user parameters and you can do the same to uh, the transaction code for work order Again, that is planner group there and um, any other default value that we set will appear here. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.